Jazz Chowdhury, Pep Talk UK, joined by the Westgate Warrior, Isaac Lowe. How are you doing, Isaac? Yeah, good to have all, uh, all good. So, Reed there with Tyson, uh, doing the pressure on that, made your workout things. Uh, looking forward to getting over to Vegas and fight week. Not long, fight week. Now, you're here supporting Tyson. He's going to be fighting in Schwartz. Are you going to sneak yourself on that undercard? Yeah, I'm on the undercard. I'll be defending me WBC uh, international belt on that. Uh, should have the opponent confirmed this week. Just uh, finishing sorting the last uh, few bits out on it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to a big fight for me, big stage, especially on fighting in Vegas at the MGM. It's where dreams are made of it from a kid. So going over and defending that, uh, climbing up the WBC ranks and. Uh, Hopefully put myself on the platform by the end of the year, or early 20, early 2020, should say, looking for a world title shot. How's training been going? Training's been fantastic. It's the first time actually in my boxing career uh, since I've started to do it full time. I've constantly been in the gym since we, we fight early on the year. I've been in the gym working on other stuff, keeping my weight down, fit, working with Ben, Tyson, Billy Joe. The gym's all fly, flying at the minute in time, and. Uh, as I said, I can't wait to get over to Vegas uh, to get that seat in down to see what it's like walking down the street and just things where, where you're going to enjoy it. I'm, I'm really enjoying my boxing again now, loving training, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying everything. So and I've been being around uh, two world class people like Billy John Tyson. Uh, uh, it makes you push your even more because uh, you see how well they've got and see where the, what boxing's give them in their lives and you just want to do that yourself and you want to achieve it yourself so hard work, dedication and hopefully one day I'll be topping my own bill in uh, Vegas. Does Ben crack the whip? Yeah, Ben, Ben, but listen, Ben's got everything. Ben's uh, done well with Tyson and Billy Joe, fantastic. And he's got me on the platform now where things are starting, where I'm starting to see changes in myself, do you know what I mean? Physically feeling stronger, a lot stronger. Uh, I've grown into, I'm grown into the for a week, week now, I'm starting to build a cup big. Uh, I'm feeling sharp, I'm working on my defence. Things what I was okay at now, I'm starting to get very good at, do you know what I mean? Uh, I was, I've always been a, a good aggressive fighter, that, that to every, which everyone knows that. I've been working on my boxing a lot more, defence. I think June 15th you're going to see a, um, I am a world class uh, operator at the featherweight division. I know you guys are good pals, you, Billy, Tyson, Ben. How competitive does it get between you guys? Very, very. Uh, what? Who can run faster? Can yeah, run especially, especially with me and Tyson, it's crazy because as we know each other such a long time like that, and uh, things we do, if we're doing a workout and one of us is running, one of us, if we're on the running machines, he has to put his, he has to put his on level 12, so if he puts his on level 12, I would put my level 12.1. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? It just, and be up before you know it, like, we're racing on a running machine, do you know what I mean? We're getting for no apparent reason, not telling each other racing, like we're just eyeing each other out, do you know what I mean? It's just, it's silly, but listen, it's good because things like that push you on even more because even if you're slacking and you're doing anything, you know they're getting that little bit more, a little bit more advantage on you and not the fact they're getting advantage on you, it, it, you just want to keep, if you can compete with, with elite level athletes like them, when you get them with the compete people of map probably the level what I'm at at any time, then I'm, I'm going to be ready for them. And uh, it's it's good because to have someone around you, two lads around you, who's at that level and training hard and pushing yourself the way so you you know yourself, you want to be at the top or you want to be at the elite level boxing. You've got to push yourself and you've got to put your body through hell and back to, to compete at that level because anything less then you're not going to be you're not going to be good enough. Well, Isaac, we wish you the best of luck come fight night. I hope you have a good training camp. Las Vegas, great stage, go and make a massive impression and we hope not so not so soon down the line you're going to be having your world title fight. But Isaac, thank you for all your time from everyone at Pep Talk. Thank you very much, thanks for having me.